Alright guys, thanks for clicking this video. Uh, the topic of this video is going to be Sean Roden versus Dennis Wolf. Um, sorry for the quality of the audio, I don't have a high definition microphone yet, but I will be buying that soon, so please bear with me. In my personal opinion, uh, Dennis Wolf is a superior bodybuilder to Sean Roden 9 times out of 10. Um, the reason being is because my personal preference in bodybuilding is the mass monsters, the big freaky guys that are the biggest, the baddest, and bring the best conditioning. So therefore, I believe the big bad wolf is the uh, superior bodybuilder to Sean Roden. Now that's just personal preference. Again, bodybuilding is very subjective, and some people prefer the smaller, uh, more aesthetic look like Sean Roden's. Um, but personally, I think Dennis Wolf embodies the word bodybuilding better than Sean Roden because Dennis Wolf has built a bigger, freakier, uh, better conditioned body. Um, in my opinion, than Sean Roden's. Now, one of those times that I believe Dennis Wolf has not beaten Sean Roden was at the 2013 Mr. Olympia. Now, bear with me while this picture opens. All right. Now, Olympia pictures are kind of hard to get because um, there's like copyright issues and stuff, and and they often don't like you using them in videos. So this is one of the only ones I could find. Again, this is 2013. At this particular Olympia, I believe Sean nailed his conditioning. He nailed his color. He looked great, and I just think he beat Wolf at that Olympia. He deserved his placing. Now let's now let's fast forward to 2014, Mr. Olympia. We have Wolf, Roden, Dexter Jackson. Um, I believe it's a combination of color and lighting. I believe uh, Sean Roden's color was a little bit too dark, and the lighting did not favor him. Um, his conditioning is kind of washed out. Um, but Wolf's conditioning is clear as day. He looks a lot fuller through the upper body. His lats um, are a lot more visible, and his legs are definitely bigger. Um, and his conditioning was better than Sean's, I believe. And I believe he did beat him at this year's Olympia. But unfortunately, officially, he did not beat him at this Olympia. So these pictures are going to be from the uh, 2014 Arnold Classic Europe. So let's pull up a picture of Wolf. All righty. Let's put this over here pull this one up so let's look at Sean next to uh, Wolf we'll start from the bottom up so let's look at the legs Dennis Wolf clearly dominating in the leg department the conditioning is is infinitely better in my opinion the size much better perfect symmetry look how symmetrical uh, Wolf's legs are um, just compare the vascularity look how much more vascular Wolf's legs are than Rodin's um, Wolf's midsection, I'll give you that is one of his weak points, and Sean has a much better midsection than Wolf, um, but that's going to disappear as soon as you get to the lats. Compare the lats of Wolf's versus Sean Roden's. Sean Roden's lats are barely visible, and Wolf's are clear as day. Stretch marks, veins, vascularity, fullness, everything in the lats that Sean doesn't have, as well as that lower pec thickness. Look at the thickness of Wolf's lower pecs versus Sean Roden's lower pecs. Much more thick, much more full. Um, overall, better upper body than Sean and Roden, um, and the conditioning is better as well. Now, again, it could be a combination of the color and the lighting, but Wolf just looks amazing. Again, another weak point of Wolf's are his arms, and even his arms are looking more defined and more cut um, than Sean and Roden's, I believe, in this picture. Now, let's minimize those. Uh, let's rewind back to the 2014 Arnold Classic where Wolf won. Look how amazing his last look next to Sean's yet again. Lower pec fullness. Again, even his arms are looking incredible right here next to Sean's legs. Obviously, uh, shitting on Sean's again. Another shot from the 2014 Arnold Classic. Look at that upper body fullness next to Sean's upper body fullness. Um, the conditioning, the vascularity. Again, I believe Wolf is dominating. Here's a shot from the Arnold Classic Europe, I believe. Dennis Wolf's looking happy because he just won. Sean Roden's looking pretty, uh, pretty salty. Again, another shot of Wolf looking huge, grainy, and hard. Uh, hamstrings, glutes, even his calves looking shredded and grainy. Um, all throughout his back and his upper shoulders is trapped. Everything looking grainy, hard. Freaky mass monster. Here he is after he won. Another shot of him looking just huge. Um, and that's all the pictures I have. So again... Uh, I believe Wolf is superior. He better embodies the term of bodybuilding for me personally. So let me know in the comment section what you personally think and who you believe is the better bodybuilder, Dennis Wolf or Sean Roden. And tell me why. Do you like a big, massive physique or an aesthetic or a more aesthetic physique? 
and which do you believe um, the judges should favor? So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate the views, um, and let me know.